She says we gotta hold on to what we've got. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We got each other, and that's a lot for love. good at singing rock songs but anyway I heard that song for you and it was by John Bon Jovi and it's called Living on a Prayer and my guides told me to pull from the mean tarot deck today yeah but before I start I want to give you guys some thanks yeah, we've hit 5k subscribers I'm so excited for the future guys I'm so glad you've subscribed to my channel and I'm happy that, you know, these messages are really helping you. Yeah, I've got so much in store for you guys in the future. So just watch this space. And we're starting with the lover's card. And this is real true love. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, you live with someone, you're completely in love with this person. That's what I'm picking up here. And they're completely in love with you. Besotted, that's what I just heard. You be sotted with each other. Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, you live with the person that I'm talking about. And, you know, you want to make them happy. You do make them happy. That's what I'm seeing here. You're the kind of person you wake up, you make them breakfast in the morning. You just want to make their day. That's what I'm seeing here. And they do the same thing for you. So I see a real loved up couple. I found your twin. So your twin flames. And this is beautiful, Pisces. You actually in physical union together. You live together. You, you know, you do everything together. You both could have been working hard recently. That's what I'm seeing here. But a lot of changes are coming in for both of you. I feel like, because I'm hearing redundancy. So one of you or both of you could have been made redundant recently. That's what I'm picking up. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you've got a lot of time on your hands now. You've got a lot of play time, a lot of time to, you know. I'm seeing a lot of earth in this card. So maybe, you, you know, you're going into nature. Just having complete fun with each other for the first time in years since this redundancy. Could have been because of COVID, that's what I'm hearing too. Or maybe, you know, the business weren't picking up, so they've had to let go of you. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. But you've both got a lot of time on your hands to have fun with each other, to, you know, to watch Netflix and chill together, to be loved up together. I see a lot of love in this card. You too, you know, you want to find each other again after having this time to, you know, to do whatever you like. So, you you know, you're looking at each other in ways to improve each other. You're watching movies, documentaries, you know. You're trying to get your knowledge up while you've got this free time. That's what I'm picking up to. And with the world card, I feel like you've, you've gone on a mission together. This is a twin flame mission. That's what I'm seeing here. You could be into astrology. You could be studying the planet. You could be studying animals. That's what I'm seeing here too. I definitely feel like you have an animal in your energy field too. Protecting you. That's what I'm seeing here. Protecting and guiding you. So you have guides that are guiding you into this this direction at the moment and I feel like it's to find out why you're here, what you're doing on earth, you know, to explore astrology, astronomy I'm hearing too. So you're really digging deep, you're diving deep into, you know, past lives, you know, finding out information to grow knowledge. You're getting deep into spirituality. That's what I'm seeing here now. Yeah, 
because you've been through a lot of traumas in your past. You've been through a lot of past life trauma and you two have been brought together to heal this trauma. That's what I'm seeing here. You could have been through a lot of abuse in the past before you met each other or past life abuse. That's what I'm hearing too. But you've definitely been through a lot of abuse in your bloodline. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, narcissist, you might have, you know, come across a lot of narcissists while growing up. That's what I'm seeing here. You could have worked with a lot of narcissists too. I see you've had a lot of trauma from these people. You want to heal yourself. You want to grow. You want to, you know, you want to get yourself back to who you was before all this shit started. And that was a child, that's what I'm seeing here. You're going back in your history, you're looking at yourself as a child and you're starting to do the inner child work. So you could have had a lot of childhood trauma, that's what I'm picking up too. But you want to go and heal this trauma. You want to be a better person in this world and you want to help others. That's what I'm seeing here because a lot of the things you went through as a child turned you a bit cold. Yeah, you turned cold towards, you know, this world. You turned cold. You went, you know, you went and blocked a lot of emotions. You didn't deal with them. That's what I'm seeing here. You blocked your emotions because you didn't want to face what you've been through in the past you didn't want to look at you in a child but now you've decided to because all the things you've been through have made you very weak and you might have used you know work as a way to you know to avoid doing that inner work but i see you going within right now going within and healing from all the traumas you suffered in past lives in childhood that's what i'm seeing too yeah you really want to help yourselves you want to get stronger you want to grow together as a couple too you want to do this together that's what i'm seeing here this is beautiful you both working together to heal that's what i'm seeing here you could have been through a lot of deaths in your family too you could have lost children you could have lost parents you could have lost friends family you know, you've got a lot of emotional healing to do. Yeah, you want to be strong again. You want to turn this around while you've got the time. That's what I'm seeing here. So you could be seeking help around the world too. You could be getting Reiki healing. You could be healing your chakras. You could be meditating. You could be, you know, getting downloads from God. That's what I'm seeing here too. You're on the right path. You're on a great mission right now. A mission of healing. Yeah, like I said, you've been through a lot of shit in the past. A lot of people playing games with your emotions, with your heart, with your money, with your life. And this time, maybe you're thinking about opening a business yourselves. Maybe you're going to work together. That's what I see here. You, you could be planning to open something to help people, to help children. I'm picking that up a lot. You could be the type who's going to open something for, to entertain children, like, you know, like a community project, something like that, where children can have fun, be free, you know, enjoy their lives while they're young. That's what I'm seeing here too. So I asked for some clarity on the whole situation and I see freedom with the Ace of Swords. You set yourself free by looking for the truth. That's what I'm picking up here. You asked for the truth and you found the truth and now you're only moving in truth. That's what I'm hearing. You want to, you know, you want to out these people that have hurt you. You want to set yourself free from any narcissistic abuse, any abuse. That's what I'm seeing. And you have done just that. This is your life path. That's what I'm hearing. You could be on life path one. You're doing the work. 